What's up, everybody? Tyson Roush. Let's talk Jets. Hope everybody had an excellent holiday weekend. The NFL season is here. Starts in a couple nights. You got Chiefs, Ravens, and you got Friday Night Football, which is awesome. The Jets play in less than a week. There's a lot of excitement around the NFL and the New York Jets. When you have Aaron Rodgers, you know, primed and ready for a big year, you know, Brees Hall, Garrett Wilson, Quincy Williams, Quinny Williams, you know, you have all this positivity, all this energy around the team. And the one little down spot is this Hassan Reddick contract situation, which has gotten, I think to, at this point, it's beyond frustrating. It's beyond annoying. It's beyond ridiculous. It's now you got to look at what kind of return are you getting on your investment? When the trade was first made, we all kind of assumed you get a deal done quickly. He'll be in OTAs, mini camp, training camp, and everything else. And the longer it played out, the more concerned you got. Because the one thing that we got to keep in mind, which most fans do, is Hassan Reddick doesn't know this defense. He doesn't know his teammates. He doesn't know anything about the Jets other than what he saw for the, what, hour he was at one Jets drive. So there's a lot of newness there. So then you got to figure out what kind of shape he's in. Now, if you, if you saw him go, if he was in two weeks ago, he's like, you know what? He has plenty of, enough time to get into game shape and take on the 49ers. Now at this point, less than a week away, still not in the building. You have no idea what shape he's in. You have no idea what he knows about your defense. And it's like, okay, if you want to say you're paying him now $14.5 million for the year, right? That you For that kind of money, or even if you gave him a pay raise, like, you know, we want 17 great games out of Hassan Reddick, who played at a Pro Bowl level over the last three or four years. That's what we want. Okay, that's what you want. What exactly are you getting? Because now you're already getting diminished returns. Just say, in theory, he shows up on Thursday. I think Thursday's probably the last day. If he doesn't show up by then, you can kiss probably two games away at this point. But if he did that, even Thursday, how many snaps could he possibly play Monday night? 15? Are you really getting great value there? Like how many weeks are you going to need to hit the, get caught up to speed to, pay, to play at his peak level? Three or four? So now for that $14.5 million, are you really getting the most bang for your buck? You're really not. And that's a problem. And that's probably going to become a bigger, bigger sticking point because what exactly are you paying for? The Jets don't want to give him a long-term deal. That's quite obvious at this point. The Jets didn't want to give anybody a long-term deal. It almost seems like this organization's like, you know what? Let's make sure we can win this year before we worry about next year and the years to come. Like if we don't, if they don't do good this year, a lot of these guys aren't going to be here next year. But either way, like so now in terms of you're not getting, so you're going to get what? Hopefully 13 games out of a sign right now at a you're pay, you're paying a premium for that. The other legit concern I have, I'm all over the place right now. The other concern I have is the injuries. When you don't go through the physicality of training camp, and I understand injuries can happen at any time, but it's the wear and tear on your body. Like you're callousing your body for the big impacts, the big hits, the explosive moves, the throws, everything else. You're going from your workouts with your trainers, probably not hitting a person in pads, full speed, full contact, to then going from that, from 0 to 100, boom, get in the game and go try to beat Trent Williams, who I understand just reported, but... You know what I'm saying? Like, there's so many things where you automatically worry about hamstring injuries, groin injuries, those little, like, those, those muscle injuries that always happen when guys hold out and they try to come in last minute. I think even Revis had it when Revis went through this. But I just wonder now where it's like they've, they've got, it's dragged out so far where, and I like Reddick. I, I was excited when they got him. Now you're like, what player are you even getting here? And I think a part of me probably wonders if he's saying, you know what? I'm going to bank on myself and see the Jets play the 49ers Monday night. And what if Tremaine Johnson gets injured, God forbid? Or Will McDonald doesn't play well? Or they can't generate a pass rush? Or they lose in embarrassing fashion? He'd be like, you know what? Now you definitely need me because you know how sports fans are, including myself. I'd be like, Jesus Christ, we can't do anything right. We have a pass rusher. We haven't paid him. Get him in the building because I want to win games. And that's maybe what he's banking on. But the reverse could happen. The Jets defense could play great. Jermaine Johnson give a breakout game, or Will McDonald can do great things, or Michael Clemens, or Tack McKinley. And then what? Like, you know what, man? We really don't need you. So, to me, this situation's unfortunate. I mean, you could take sides of both. Like, you could take the, the Jets' side for not wanting to do a deal, Rack for wanting getting paid. I think at this point, everybody lost. It's a lose-lose. Because by the time he gets to where you want him, it's going to be five or six. You're, you're overpaying at that point. And it's just, it just seems like there's a, there could have been a better way to do this. And it's unfortunate. Like, I, I just, I'm shocked it's here. And again, he can maybe, I know he's in Jersey City tonight doing an appearance. He's going to meet with the media. But I'm, I don't have time to watch that. So I'm sure he's going to offer up some comments. 
But it's just, it should never have gotten this far. And now it's like there's such an opportunity here for both him and the Jets, and I'm not taking advantage of it.